When you get the chance, read this. I want you to understand why I feel the way I feel. Christine. I can say with reasonable certainty that this letter is filled with a little girl's flowery words about the love she feels for a man who doesn't love her back. There's really no reason for me to read it. Well, in case you change your mind. You were going to the game. That dad surprised me with the movie and the new Game Boy. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dad. Oh, you got it, man. Get out of here. I don't believe you. You'd rather lose money at work than let your son be around Steve. You know, I, I don't even want to go into it right now. I mean, I did what I thought was best for my son. No, Kenny. You did what was best for you. I don't even want to go there with you. You know, I, I tried to leave it alone. I tried to be okay with it, open my mind to it. You know, it, it just didn't work. And you think this is right? Oh, I'm not saying that it's right. You know, I did what I felt comfortable doing, and that makes it right for me. That's all I can tell you, Maxine. It makes it right for me. Thank you. How you doing? Yes, 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 yes. What the hell are you trying to do? Put me out of business? Mm-hmm. And I gave the stove on 69th Street the same sign. What? How's a black man supposed to make a buck? Not by robbing another black man. Well, I'll be. Give me back my damn cookies. And I got to open it for a stock person if you're interested in a real job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, Steve? What's up, Kenny? So, what, what, what can I do for you, man? Nothing. I was just concerned. You know, uh, when Ahmad couldn't come to the game, I was wondering if he was feeling better. Hey, Steve. What's up, Shorty? Nothing, just watching TV. Look, Ahmad, I need to speak to Steve for a minute. Okay. See you later, Steve. Hey, take care. You, you know, Kenny, I always have extra tickets. You know, that way you and Ahmad could come if that's what you want. Oh, man, thanks. But, you know, to be honest, I, I never really like sports. I understand. Yeah. Oh, dynamite. Take care. I remember Big Mama saying people never feel good about being judged. But at the same time, a lot of people take their turn sitting on the judge's bench. <sighs> All right, so what I miss? None. Hmm? But maybe my dad wasn't around when Big Mama said that. <laughs> dad. Yeah. You didn't want me to go to the game because Steve is gay? Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. How did you know Steve was gay? I know some gay people. One of my teachers was gay. Well, there are gay teachers at your school? At Lakeside Prep? Yep. When everybody found out she got fired. Ask Mom. She knows. little friends seem to have a lot in common. Stopping by unannounced. Christine came here? Yep. You seem to leave your address book in really accessible places. Listen, Terry, it's over between me and Christine. Oh, really? Well, she didn't seem to think so when she showed up at my front door. She was always on the road. I didn't want to hurt her. Mess up her game by breaking up while she was in the middle of a tournament. What about me? 
You're about hurting me. I wanted to tell her about us, but until about a month ago, I didn't even know what to tell myself about us. Oh, so you just kept her as backup, just in case. It wasn't like that. Dear Christine, I can't tell you how lonely I am without you. We have to find a way to see each other more. Every day I am away from you, I realize how much I love you and want to be with you. I wrote that a long time ago. Ten months is not a long time ago. I hadn't even met you yet. Damn it, Damon. Why now? I'm going through the worst moment of my life. How could you let this happen to us now? I don't know what to say. I gotta get back to the office. I got this huge trial coming up. And since I didn't make partner, I need to show them why I should have, because that's how it works. That's how my life seems.